Good morning dear students. Today we are going to have a yoga session. The importance of yoga is growing day by day, especially during this pandemic time, where yoga plays a significant role in reducing the stress as well as practicing indoors without going outside. Yoga has been helpful in many ways, especially it provides you a medium of meditation and harmony. It can secure inner peace and reduce the levels of stress and tension. So let's see some of the warm-up exercises before we are actually going on into yoga session. Warm-up exercises are very simple. It just involves the body movements. So let's have some warm-up exercise before actually practicing the yoga asanas. Warm-up exercise during yoga also includes breathing exercises. Let's have a simple breathing exercise. Intake your air inhalation to the maximum. Hold it for some time and exhale. After breathing session, let's start yoga asana with a silent prayer for one minute. Now, the first asana that we are going to learn is Shalabhasana or locus pose. In locus pose, you will get benefits if you are having back pain and it improves your uh, strength of your legs, thighs, etc. But if you are having some problems related to heart, then please avoid doing this. So, let's start. And for this, where you have to lie down on your stomach and rest when when you start put your cheek here and hands beneath your legs and raise your legs to maximum height without bending your legs now this is the locus pose. Now come down. This is the Shalabhasana. So during Shalabhasana, we first lay down in a resting position. You lay on your stomach and in the beginning of Shalabhasana, you will bring your hands towards your leg and place it under them. After that, you'll have to place your chin on the floor and then raise your legs without bending them. This is Shalabhasana. Now relax by exhaling. Go back to the normal resting position. Let's do it one more time. Go 
quite similar to Shalabhasana is Artha Shalabhasana. Now let's see how Artha Shalabhasana is being performed or is being done. When you are doing Artha Shalabhasana, you have to be in the resting position, same as the Shalabhasana. Bring your hands behind the legs like this and your chin should be touching the floor. Raise one half leg without bending. Maintain this position as long as you can. Now come back and relax and get back to the same position. Again we'll do it with the other leg. Coming back to the normal position. Again, Shalabhasana and Artha Shalabhasana should not be done by those people or patients having heart diseases or heart problems. These asanas will help you to decrease your back pain as well as will strengthen your leg muscles. So dear students, so let's start the combination of Shalabhasana, Artha Shalabhasana. Before that, I want to tell you that Artha Shalabhasana is being displayed or described or done in a different way also, where you will be actually uh, holding a position which is similar to the wings of a butterfly. It goes like this. So, Shalabhasana, initially you are in the resting position. Then, you will bring back your hands towards this position. Put your chin on the ground and raise your legs without bending them. It's not necessary that you raise it to a topmost level, but just don't bend your legs. Try to keep them straight. straight. Coming back to the normal position and to the resting position. Again, let's do it two or three times. Now, switching back to Artha Shalabhasana. With the other leg. Now, the variant form of Artha Shalabhasana is also like this. So, let's do a combination of all these three Shalabhasanas.
So now after the combination session, we will conclude this with a, a proper warm up session. Yoga is a form of healing. It can help you to reduce your stress as well as help you to maintain your health during this pandemic time. So make yoga a habit and lead a healthy life. With this, I conclude today's session. Thank you students.